blast. <laughs> Hi, Baba friends. It's me, Kyle. And today we're going to do some really fun and super cool science experiments. Are you ready? Okay, then let's get started. Now, of course, I can't do science experiments all by myself. That means I need to take my Baba Blaster and bring in my special helper. Hi! Maggie, thanks for coming to do some science experiments with me and my friends today. Are you excited? Yeah. What's on your shirt? Butterflies. Oh, butterflies. I love butterflies. I think though, if we're going to look like real scientists, we should wear real scientist clothing. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let me take the Baba Blaster and give you a brand new sciency look. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> really good. You look like a real scientist. All right. I think I want to look like a scientist too. Here. Will you take the Baba Blaster and turn me into a scientist? Oh! Did you put me in this funny alien costume? That is really funny. I think I need to look more like you though, like a real life scientist. Here, you wanna try, try it again? All right, go for it. Whoa, I'm not even the same person anymore. You gotta try again. Whoa! Now I look like a scientist. Thanks for the cool dicks. Thank you so much. Now, are you ready for our very first science experiment? Yes? Okay, are you ready? All right, well let's see what our first science experiment will be. Wow! Look at all of the cool stuff. Now, one of the first things that scientists have to do is make observations. So let's start with Maggie. Maggie, what can you see and observe that's on the table? Well, I see some colorful blue. Oh, that's right. What colors do we have here? Green, blue, yellow, red, and orange. Very nice. Now, you at home, what do you observe on the table? Right over here, we have some vinegar and baking soda to do our very first experiment. The first thing we're gonna do is put baking soda in each one of these balloons. We'll find out why in just a little bit. Since you're my helper, will you help me put this baking soda in the balloon? Yeah. All right, what you have to do is hold this yellow funnel. Very good. All right, let's put the baking soda in. Let's make some observations about the baking soda. What color is it? White. It, it looks like snow. It does look like snow. It's like a white powder. All right, perfect. Well, we can do the other balloons really fast. Let's go. In each one of these, we have a different color food dye. So I'm going to make a hypothesis. Do you know what a hypothesis is? It's kind of like a guess of what's going to happen. And I'm going to guess that when we put it, the vinegar in the bottle with the green dye, that the vinegar is going to turn green. green. That's our hypothesis. What's your hypothesis at home? Can you say hypothesis? Hypothesis. Okay, come on, hypothesis. All right, let's put on our safety goggles and pour the vinegar. When we put the baking soda from the balloons in each one of the jars, what's your hypothesis of what's gonna happen? Um, I think it, it's gonna explode like a volcano. Ooh, explode like a volcano. What's your hypothesis at home? There's only one way to find out. We have to experiment. Oh. Okay, let's put our safety goggles on and put the balloons over the jars. All right, it's time to see what kind of chemical reaction this makes. Go ahead and tip each balloon, Maggie. There goes the baking soda into the vinegar. Whoa! It is. Let's see what happens with the other ones. Whoa, they're really heavy. 
Wow! Another one! Whoa! Time for the blue one! Good job, you got it all in there. Here it goes! Woo! The last one, reach for it! There goes the green one! Wow! Your hypothesis was pretty accurate. There was a big reaction when that happened, and it released all this gas, which went right into the balloon. <laughs> Should we do another experiment? Yeah. All right. Well, luckily, we don't have to clean any of this up. The blaster will do it. Wow, that was easy. And our new experiment is ready to go. This one, we don't need our safety goggles on, so let's take them off. So this one, we're going to learn how water can be transferred through these sheets of paper towels. So let's pick some colors. Should we? Yeah. Okay. I think you should pick the first color. Should it be blue, yellow, or red? Um, I think blue. Blue. All right. Here we go. It's my dad's favorite color. It is. All right. Here we go. Blue color for dad. All right. That looks good. Now, should we do yellow next or red next? Um, red next. And why should we do red next? Because it makes one of my favorite colors purple. Okay. Let's see if I can do it without the funnel. Whoa. I don't think I spilled any. All right, that leaves one left for this experiment. We're going to use yellow. yellow. Here we go. Oh, I spilled a little bit. Sometimes things get messy when you're doing science experiments. Yeah. All right, now we're going to put the paper towel into the other jars and see how long it takes for all the water and colors to mix. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Not only will the water move its way through the paper towel into the other jars, but the colors of each jar will mix together, forming brand new colors. Oh, and parents, if you'd like to get instructions for these experiments, go to babablast.com. Do you see how this blue liquid is going up the paper towel? Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you see how your pinkish red one is going up the paper towel too? Yeah. Well, let's see how long it's going to take for it to travel all the way through this paper towel and into the empty jars. Okay. How long do you think it'll take? Um, how many minutes? Well, we can make a hypothesis. I think it's going to be four or three whole minutes. Three or four whole minutes. That's a really good guess. Should I make a hypothesis? Yeah. I think it might take five or six minutes. How long do you think it's going to take? Well, Maggie and I were both wrong. It took two hours for the water to travel through the paper towels. And when the yellow and red water mixed, it made orange. When the blue and yellow water mixed, do you know what color it made? That's right, green. Cool experiment. Let's go to the next one. Boom. Oh, we've got three new jars in front of us. And they just look like jars of normal water, don't they? Yeah. Let's make some observations. Can you see anything unique about them? Or are they just jars of water? I think they're jars of vinegar. Oh, of vinegar. They could be. Vinegar looks a lot like water. I think if we put the blaster over each one, something special might happen when you shake them. Why don't you go and give one a shake and see what happens? Nothing. What about this one? Oh yeah, you want to shake it even more? Shake it even more and see what happens. Go, shake, 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 even more, even more. Oh, it's a little blue. No, no, it got white. Maybe a little white. It changed colors, huh? Let's see what happens with this one. There you go, shake it, shake it. Red. I'll shake the last one. Green. Ooh, this one's green. Very nice. Let me shake this a little more. Okay. 
Now you're shaking it. And I'll shake this one too. Hmm. So this one's blue. This one is, what would you say, light pink? Um, I would say a little clear, but red on the top. Yeah, a little clear. And this one is? Green. Green. Blue, clear, but a little red on the top, and green. Perfect. Now I wonder how they change colors. Any ideas? Uh, maybe we could pour the blue into the red, and it would make purple. One of my favorite cups. All right, well let's see what happens. The blue into the red, you said? All right. Now why don't you do the pouring of the blue into the red? Okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. Whoa! Green on the top? Why would it be like that? Because blue and red make, make purple when they mix together. Well, it looks like purple down here, but it, you're right, it is green on the top. Yeah. Probably because the cylinder is yellow. And blue and yellow make green. All right, I have another experiment for you. Should we set it up? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Why don't you set it up for us? Whoa! Oh. I was I was being careful. You were being so careful. Thank you. Yeah. It's important to be careful, and we're gonna have to be careful on this one too because I think I've seen this before, and there's a big, big explosion at the end. Do you know what this is? Um. Well, I think it, it's gonna. It's not gonna go on the table or the floor. Just on this pan. Okay. That's what I think. I think so too. We've never done this, so here we go. Do you want to take that and pour it in there? Go, 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 go. All right, move it. Here it comes. Ooh, gooey. It's like green slime. It is like green slime. But is it real green? I don't think so. And because this is using all safe chemicals, I think we can touch it. Ooh. What does it feel like? It feels like green slime. Yeah, it does. But like kind of warm. Yeah, like warm green slime. And it's warm. I know. It's not warm. It's like a warm green bubble bath. All right, should we do a small high five? All right. Boom. Ooh. Cool. All right, I'm gonna clean up all of this green slime and then we have one more experiment. Do you wanna do another one? Yeah. All right, well let's go get cleaned up and then we'll go to our brand new experiment. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go! Oh! Pink! Pink! Should we use a pink one? Yeah. All right, let's use the pink one. Can I yeah, we're gonna make a hovercraft out of a bottle cap, a CD, and a pink balloon. All right, should I put it on here and blow it up? Blow it up first? Yeah. I can do that for you. Thank you. Here we go. Is that big enough? Well, well, the bigger it is, the better it will. Then I'll do it one more time. That's as big as I think it could be. All right. Now we're gonna take all this air that I just blew into the balloon and put it over this bottle cap, which has five holes in it. The air is gonna go through those holes and under the CD, lifting it just barely off of the ground so it looks like it's gonna be floating or hovering right off of the ground. I think that's that. All right, let's see what happens. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's moving a little bit. 
There it goes! It's kind of like air hockey. Whoa! You're spun around! Nice! You want to use a pink one or a different color? I want to use a different color. All right, out of all you... those colors, what should you pick? I want to use blue because it's Daddy's favorite color. I heard that. All right, let's go with another blue. Well, I I was, well, the first thing we do before we blow in it, we stretch it. Thank you for being the balloon stretcher. Here we go. Do you think I can do it in one breath, two breaths, or three breaths? I want to do three. Three? Okay. All right. Oh. <sighs> 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 Woo! That was a big three breaths. Will you clear out the balloons for our hovercraft? Thank you. There it goes! Whoa, that was a good one. Try again. It's almost out. Goodbye! Woo! Ah! Off of the table again. I want to do the same color, but light blue. Okay, Is fantastic. Is it okay if I blow it up? Yes, Do you? can you blow up a balloon? A little bit. Have you ever done this with balloons? I want to try that. Okay. Oh! Can you do it with this balloon? Sure, can I do it with this balloon? Oh yeah. Okay. Right, so you hold it. Let me show you how to do it. You hold it, and then you just, okay? Okay. All right, there you go. You're doing it. Oh, oh. I like to hug it. We could use that balloon, mm -hmm. blow it up, then, then, then we will, then it will be in the middle of the middle of us hugging each other. I love it. Bigger? Um, yeah, bigger. Oh. All right. Yeah. And now in the middle, and then we're gonna hug? Yeah, without touching, without touching the blue with our fingers. Okay, here we go. That was so silly and fun! I had so much fun with you, Maggie, today, and I've had so much fun with you, too. Thanks for being here with us. And Maggie and I hope that you had a... Ba-ba blast! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! All right, let's set this up. Ba-ba <laughs> <laughs> blast!